To install flow form rivets with the pneumatic hydraulic universal actuator, start with the assembly. For this, you need the actuator and the power supporting push-pull cylinder. Use the stop button on the actuator to hold the push-pull cylinder in position to prevent it from retracting. Fold out the locking lever on the actuator. Then swivel it as far as it will go, center the push-pull cylinder with quick coupling, and push it on using gentle pressure. Now turn the locking lever back and fold it in. The lever on the actuator can now also be returned to its original position. Install the connecting cable between the actuator and the push-pull cylinder. Now take the C bracket and push in the safety button on the locking mechanism. Open the locking lever clockwise while pressing the safety button. Now place the C bracket in the middle of the push-pull cylinder holder and push it all the way in. Close the locking lever counterclockwise. The safety button must have now clicked out audibly. Connect the compressed air hose. For pressing out self-piercing rivets, you need the attachments B6 and A4. Screw them onto the actuator hand tight. This is what self-piercing rivets installed X-Factory look like before the working process. First, you have to punch the self-piercing rivets. To do this, use this tool midpoint. Observe the press-out direction. Afterwards, you can easily attach the material to the actuator for pressing. The B4, K2 and K1 attachments are required for the next step, flattening the hole. Once the actuator is in place, you're ready to go. The next step is to calibrate the rivet hole. For this you need the attachments B3 and B4. Prepare these. Unscrew the ring on the quick coupling, insert the attachment and screw the ring back on. The material is calibrated cleanly. To install the flow form rivet, you'll need the tools F3, C2 and C1. Important! Before pressing, set the speed on this button to maximum. The large red button must be adjusted individually depending on the rivet, in our case to level 4. If you want to be on the safe side, also check the pressure regulation on the diagram in the tool case. The flow form rivet is placed in the middle of the hole. And then put on the tool. Finished. The flow form rivet is perfectly assembled. If you want to rivet harder material than steel, you'll need the tool B7 to calibrate the rivet hole. Before calibration, all that remains to be done is to attach this cutting ring. 